Okay, let's get going here. So what we talk about is uh, on uh, every Wednesday afternoon is something about chemical dependency. We talk about chemical dependency, you know, so that you can understand, you know, how to keep out of harm's way after you, after you leave here. The recovery program is an educational program. So we have to teach you to be responsible for yourself. You cannot rely on somebody else. You cannot rely on your doctor. You cannot, you have to understand that you are smarter than your doctor as to your own health and so forth. So we have to cover one drug here, and that's the benzodiazepines, because you will be introduced to these, and you have to know about them to keep out of harm's way, okay? Now these benzodiazepines will uh, increase GABA. If you were here last week, the way before, you know GABA slows down the brain. It has many, many stop signs all through the brain. Slows down conduction so that you fall asleep or you're, you're less anxious. Right, so this is what these drugs do. There are other GABA drugs, and we'll talk about that some other time, but there, you don't need these. And what happens, alcohol and these benzos do the same thing, okay? Benzodiazepines, alcohol calms you down. It's a GABA drug. These drugs are GABA drugs. If you take these drugs, you're gonna raise GABA, they're gonna drop, okay? And if you're an alcoholic, what you're gonna do is if your GABA drops, your craving for alcohol will go increase because you wanna raise your GABA with alcohol. What we're saying is that these drugs will cause relapse on alcohol because they're bouncing your GABA. You know, bouncing a neurochemical imbalance is what causes cravings. And, it's, and alcohol is a GABA drug, see? So they cause relapse on alcohol and alcohol will cause relapse on the benzos, okay? So that's, it's a, uh, you know, we're talking about addiction, but we're also talking about neurochemical documented scientific processes in your brain that causes neurochemical imbalances which lead to craving and relapse, see? So that's what we're talking about here, okay? We have people come in and taking 20 of these pills a day, 30 pills a day, you know, or multiples of the different types of GABA. We have doctors out there who take somebody who's on diazepam and they'll detox them with Xanax. Not uncommon. See what I mean? It's hitting the same, it's the same drug, but a different name with a little different structure. They're all basically addicted the same way. Okay, you see what I mean? So you don't want to go with a benzo for anxiety and all that because sometimes what'll happen, you take enough of this drug and we see that with people taking higher and higher doses, that what they'll do is they'll pretty soon get anxious. So we're looking at a paradoxical effect from it. Paradoxical effect means that if you take these drugs long enough, hard enough, pretty soon you're taking so many that you become even more anxious. And then we see it, it's not a day or a week that doesn't go by that we see people coming off multiples of these that actually are calmer when they leave because, they're, because they've ended up becoming more anxious, relative detox, you know what I mean? You have to understand the primary care physician, you know, has knowledge about it, but many, many, I would have to say that half of the uh, primary care physicians do not believe these things are truly addictive because it's addictive when you become addicted, you know what I mean? You know, or, or when they get so many complaints, you know, that, you know, it's, but, but you are a different breed, you're a different, patient, you've had the consequences. You cannot go into an arena of, of life where you're going to have more consequences you've got now.